Very much safe, bro. Very much safe. Prof, this one you're sweating like this. Is anything pursuing you? Well, my normal exercise, you people should know by now that uh, normally take my exercise in the morning. <laughs> I'm coming. Uh, well, Prof, um, uh, as for me, I think exercise is good for the body. Thank you. But this idea of you trekking to school on daily basis, uh, Prof, I think it is too much. Angus, you know why we make a lot of mistakes or oh, are very obstinate? Exercise is very, very, very essential to anybody, particularly people of our own age. All people in the medical field, even the naturalists will tell you that it is good for you to exercise yourself. Don't you, you think I don't like to be fat? The internal health is what matters. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, exercise is very, very essential to the one. Uh, but Prof, uh, don't you think you should be doing this nearly in the morning? You know, instead of trekking from house to, uh, to to school every time. Our forefathers lived very, very long. Do you know why? That was because of what they were eating and the exercises they were doing then. But now, a lot of people uh, bugger this. Everything has <laughs> bugger. <laughs> Even green leaves have bugger. You know, you enter your air condition, you go to your car, it's air condition, to your office, it's air condition. Everything is air condition. It does not work. Health sweat. I'm sure it is not uh, because of this that you people have come to my office this morning. Of course not. Uh, 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 Prof, yes. it's about uh, something very important. You know, we've been friends. And what is it our people say? If uh, the right hand washes the left hand, the, the left, left hand also right. washes the right. So here's the point. You see, Prof, uh, it's about this. Uh, housing project in the university. No problem. No problem, bro. He's, you know you are in charge. No, I'm not in charge. <laughs> How can you say I'm in charge? We have a contractor that is there, which all of you know. It is the contractor that uh, is in charge, not me. So, but, but bro, uh, you, the contractor is your man. That is what I am saying. I got it, bro. <laughs> He's in presence of this man. Uh, All right, so what exactly are you talking about? Uh, bro, mm -hmm. uh, you see, I'm not asking for a major contract. I'm not asking for those little, little ones. So that one will augment this enough they give to us and say yes, All right. You see, it is now that you have come. It is said in our place that uh, if you are the hungry one, or the most hungry among the group, you are the one that is bound to hold the plate. And so, I should not be talking for you. Well, something like this subcontracts and everything. Yes, I know you are as a friend. You have not shown any interest that uh, you are interested in it. So, yeah, I, I didn't worry. But now that you have come, yes, I think I will do something about it. Bro, bro. But the major thing first, I hear that uh, uh, Dr. Joffon, is trying to influence the council, the Senate, to probe this housing project. So, what you should even help me do now is to go to Ejofo, Dr. Ejofo, get close to him, find out what he knows, try to see if we can move him out of this probe he's insisting that's going to come. Because if they begin to probe here, the contract we are looking for, it will not come. Consider that done. You should not have come with this man. If two of you have, you just drag him to come and bring his own complaint. Uh huh. Uh, prof, me that you know, uh, as the auditor, you know, there should be something for us uh, too, as uh, you know, people who help to check these things. Look, you people in the accounts department, there's supposed to be a standing percentage for people in the account department. Yes. Not only for this housing project, all the projects we have in this institution. You cover out your own percentage as the people in the account department in order to plug it. 
but I don't have to talk directly or deal directly with you now. What I'm going to do is I'll talk with Angus. So if there is anything that comes, Angus will liaise with you. That's Instead okay. of allowing everybody to come to my table, That's it okay. will expose everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Bro, bro. Yeah, so Angus will let you know. Uh, no problem. Uh, uh, no cola. Uh, something to drink. Something. We, we are in the professor's office. Are you in league? No, no, you say no, no. Are, we, are we not supposed to take something in the professor's office? Are you people alright? If I give you alcohol this very morning, wouldn't people think I'm mad? I want to run the institution down. <laughs> Prof, uh, I didn't see you at uh, Dr. Ngozi's child dedication ceremony. I hope all is well. My dear, I wasn't feeling fine, so I decided to leave everything and then uh, get my head back. Bro, bro. I hope you are not avoiding gifts and things like that, bro. Why will I not go to great education with a friend? The thing is that I don't like spending money unnecessarily. You know, to be honest with you, Angus, if I were you, I wouldn't have bought this car for anything. You don't mean it. Yeah, because it looks very expensive and no, it is expensive, yes. Bro, what are you even uh, talking? Uh, it's just 3.5 million. And you think 3.5 million is just? <laughs> for you who is making your money, your hard-earned money. Uh... Do you know if you had used 3.5? to build a house and rent it out. At least income will be coming for you. It is very well now, you're not making any game. You are even spending money on repairs and maintenance of the car. You are inviting a lot of trouble by this very car. Because as it is now, whenever people want to do lunching, or even in the church, if they want to give people, uh, listen, they will put your name where those people that uh, are going to give the maximum <laughs> amount of money. Even hand robbers. We'll be targeting you now, from now on. Bro. I'm being frank with you. Arm robbers will be targeting you because you have a big gun. I'm not even safe in your car again. Bro, what are you even talking? Eh? What about politicians? I mean, do you know that uh, some politicians buy cars that are worth uh, 25 million? You call it politicians. Are you in the same boat with those politicians? I'm talking of those who buy these cars with their hard-end money. They don't buy it with their hard-end money. It is our own money. Money that belongs to you and I. That's what they steal. And they go and buy. Uh, if you say so, bro. But, um, uh, I don't care. I go not care. bro. It is not about you, Konyeli. <laughs> Cut your coat according to your cloth. It's alright. It's alright, bro. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, Nkiru, you baffled me. Why did it take you so long to allow me to come and visit you? You act as if you are living in a bush or a mud house. It's not what you're thinking, Omi. Just, just have your drink, okay? Daddy, this is my friend, Oye. She came to visit me. What are these? They are drinks. I know they are drinks. Why are they here? I... I... You, you, you can't talk again. I bought them for my friend. Oh, you bought them? Oh, millionaire rest. You bought alcohol in the first instance. So you have started taking alcohol. No wonder. One for you, one for her. So this is where your pocket money goes. Tomorrow you come and begin to worry me. Give me money, give me money. Each time you're the person that demands the most in this house. So this is what you spend those money on. This name no got go. You know your savior? None of them has been opened now. Pick these two. Go back to wherever you bought it. Ask for a refund. And I want to see that refund. As soon as you come back, come free and I am. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But what will my friend drink? Your friend can drink water. Your friend can drink mineral. Your friend can take orange. Daddy, you're embarrassing me. Shut up! You're even challenging me. You have the effrontery to challenge me. In Apuala. You know, go beer. Big woman. You're drinking beer. I'm going.
Yes, come in. Yeah, good, good day. Ah! Diani, how are you? Very fine, sir. Good, 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 good. How are uh, your parents? They're very fine, sir. And your siblings? Very good, sir. Sit down, sit down, sit down, my dear. Thank you, sir. For some time now, I've not been seeing you around. Even your father. We actually traveled for some holiday. I should have known that because Seji Manya, you know. <laughs> You're welcome. Sir, this is for you. For me? From yes, you? No, from daddy. Your daddy? This is wonderful. Wow. He, why would he go to the extent of getting me these, uh, these? Oh, very nice. Very nice. This must be very expensive from the look. It's just 50,000 naira. 50,000 naira? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> would I prefer to have that money in cash? But this is actually a gift from daddy. Well, you know, as a conservative man, I would always prefer to have the cash on my hands. No problem. If you prefer cash, I can still give you. Well, I'm not rejecting your offer, but cash is cash any day. Okay, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Um, <laughs> Oh, well, well, I, I'm not insisting on this, so, but uh, <laughs> I don't know the way. Wow. Thank you very, very much. Well, your father is a rich man. I wouldn't uh, say you're doing the wrong thing. No problem, sir. You're yes, welcome, sir. Yes, sir, but I'm still going to keep this one. No, no, no. It's specially for you. Thank you. Remind me that your name. My name is Ben, sir. Ben, Ben. Yes, I remember now. Please take all the greetings to your father. Tell him this thing he did today, I'm going to retaliate. <laughs> Sir? Yes. No problem, please. Like I said, give my greetings to your father. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you very, very much. Oh, okay, let me add 1,000 naira for you. Look, this is full. I told you 45,000. Just new be and bring out the 45,000. And you know how much you're going to sell it. Oh, you're going to see here. Uh, let me add 1,000 naira for you. Making it 44,000. Yes, 44,000. Oh, why are you pricing this thing like this? 45,000, I have told you. It's either 45,000 or not. This is not tomatoes. This is not granite. Okay, see here. Eh? See here. Eh? It's just because you are looking gentle. Don't use to buy phone from people's hands. I don't even sell phones the way I'm just here. I came, I looked around, and I saw, okay, probably I can go and sell to people who I know that have the money with me. Oh, yeah, let me add 300 now for you. 300 for what? So, for your, maybe your transport or. I have a car. Because I came to sell the phone, doesn't mean I don't have car. What would they go this thing? Can, if not, they will go. Okay, wait. Okay, stop. Wait. wait. No, I don't like this kind of see, thing. Uh, see, see, see. Let me, uh, let me give you for 4,500 now. So it, it is 500 naira that you cannot bring out. Okay, we don't have gain in all this thing. This phone is not up to that. You say you don't have gain in this thing. Okay, leave it. I'm going. For 5,000, uh, 5, are you buying it? For 5,000, your last that price. That is Kaskia. It's like you don't want to sell the phone. You don't want to buy. That is Only welcome. 
this one you're like this, what, what's the matter? Armed robbers. Jesus Christ. So what happened? Do you know, as I was coming back, I was attacked by armed robbers. The worst is that those armed robbers have taken the gifts I brought from you. Jesus. You know, very portable for the one women like you like to use. Very expensive the way I look at it. My intention was to come and present it to you as a gift. Oh God. Lo and behold, they snatched it from me. I was lucky to have come with my portfolio using the Indica. They shot me, oh, they shot me. Are you serious? God saved me. If not, they would have rendered you a widow. God forbid. Indeed, well. Hey. I, I, I begin to wonder. At times, these governments, people come to television and they're ready, and they're screaming. We have sanitized our place, we have sanitized our state, we have rid them of armed robbers and armed smugglers. Honey, look at this. Please, that is not the problem now. The first thing we should do is just to thank God that you are alive. Eh? You're right. Have you people uh, finished ironing the dress? And I told you to iron that material. Is it ready now? Yes, honey. But we tried this. In one hour, I'm going out. So don't give me reasons. There is no light. We did all we could. Why did you use the generator? The generator you're talking about, is it the small one? I've told you to buy the bigger generator, but you refused. It didn't work. Why are you so irrational? What has big generator got to do with this? Of all the other sources of light here, of all the other points, and the generator will work. Okay, what about the water in the fridge? So one will not drink cold water in this house again. Did you see cold water in your mouth? Yes. At this age, listen, let me tell you what you do not know about the human system. When you are growing, you needed all the energy as a kid. People's life move in geometric progression. When you get to a certain stage, my dear, it turns to arithmetic progression. So you have to begin to leave some of these things that you put into your system. They congeal your liver. Honestly, Prof, I don't know what to do with your money. I don't know. You don't play pool or do you give your money to women? This woman, by your looks, have you ever stood in the mirror and looked at the bulk? Look at your volume. Do you think it is air? It is from my dog pocket. Yes, I play pool on you. Do you think if I'm interested in other women, I will not be going to bring them in bridges? Your insistence on buying new generator, bigger generator, they make a lot of noise. Hmm. I've said my own. I don't know what to do with your money. It makes a lot of noise. I won't buy big generators. You people think that you are sensible. Buy big generators and my neighbors will keep quarrels with me. Oh my friend, you know things you don't know, you claim to much. Hey, Prof, it is Bicheta. I mean your outfit. I'm going for a function after this, oh, okay. so I just thought I should dress like that. Instead of uh, carrying my goods, after that I will change into this. That's fine, bro. Yes. Kadu? Uh, no problem. When bro. did you come back? Just yesterday, bro. You come No problems. Well, bro, um, all the way from Abuja. Wow. For me? Of course. I'm going to say, I'm going to Hey. Is this the price? Come get it. It's the price. A thousand naira. <laughs> Angus, Angus. Well, even though it is one of my favorite, I'm going to talk about it for 1,000 naira. Prof, you're expensive now. I know. On that grounds, I can take it. Well, you know what I normally advise? If you divide the money that you used to buy this, I probably buy mango or oranges, and give the person physically. Prof, prof. No, this is a very good theory. No problems, prof. I understood. I understood everything. Ah, uh, prof. It's about the contract. Uh, the one you promised me on all the connectors, prof. Uh, I don't understand what is happening. Angus, I have told you. 
I give you all the assurance. Uncle Modin Jari, the contractor is me who planted him. It's my contractor. It's my firm. If I give you an assurance, just believe it. I've already discussed with the chairman of the tenders board. And they're processing your tender. Okay, if I want to move. Rob, Rob. I hear you. <laughs> I'm now unhappy now, you know, as a human being. You know, if I make a promise, I will fulfill it. Uh, Rob, I'm ready to go to the market. Please, let me have the money I requested for. How much did you ask for? Hmm, 15,000 naira. 15,000 naira. Professor, professor. There is no money. See. You know what? I'm walking that way. I want to go and see Angus. I'll go to the market and buy those things myself. Let me save you the stress. Meaning? Meaning that I want to help you to ease the burden on you. I want to go to the market and buy those things. You said 15,000, isn't it? Professor. Of mathematics. I insist. I want to go to the market by myself. Oh, well, if you insist, use your own money to buy it. You cannot insist on my own back pocket. Says who now? Says me. You think I don't know you all these your semantics? You want to go to the market. I understand that. Why do you want to go to the market? I understand that too. You want to flaunt yourself as professor's wife. I bet you you, the way I see you, won't even price in article. You will buy it as if you're buying it from a supermarket. How can you save 15,000 naira? Here. I will go. Let me save you. What is the meaning of this? The meaning is that I want to help you and go to the market. Why are you quarreling over it? If I'm an abogafo. Yeah. Papa no so. Mama no so. Papa no so. Get me the list. This is not funny. You want to go and do in young guys and wine? The professor, it is not going to work this time around. I will go there and buy. You said 15,000 naira. Papa, no, so. Mama, no, so. Papa, no, so. This is not for you. What is not for you? It is not for you. What is not for you? Let me have the list. <laughs> hey! You pretend you know anything that you are rational. You are rational. What is the Kenya Lugaka? And you were saying no, <laughs> yeah, no. What is the particular thing you want to go to the market to do? Prof, professor. There is no money if a silly cake. Prof, there is no money if a silly cake. University. There is no money if a silly cake. Management. There is no money if a silly cake. Prof, to wiser. Sense it too much. Academic, economic. Grammar too big, handy too tight. Professor Dog, there is no money if a silly cake. What's that your name again? Mercy, yes, you came to the market. Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. I came to buy certain things at the market, but to be honest with you, I'm getting embarrassed. I would like you to do me a favor. Help me buy one or two things in the market. And, uh, I, you know, I'm not conversant with market pricing and all that. Would you do that for me? No problem. Please. Thank you very much. And now these are the list of the things I'll have to buy. Yes, they're all written here. And I'll have to find you some money. I don't know. Please, don't tell them that it is professor that sent you. When I want to price something, they hike the price just because it's professor. Yeah? Okay, sir. That's All right. Cool, I'll be waiting for you over there. All right, hmm? sir. Okay. Thank you very much, my You dear. see? You were thinking that because I'm a professor of academia, I wouldn't have the time to go into the market and price and buy things that I eat. <laughs> you see this? Guess how much? 200 naira only! Yes. And you wrote beans. I bought four cups of beans at 
700 naira. Only. Oh, yes, it is true. It worked. It worked. The vegetable lawyer gets out. Jesus. Good. You wrote 15,000, didn't you? Now wait, Professor. Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, I demanded for 15,000. I wrote that 15,000 Naira because I wanted to buy things that would last for one month. With the 15,000? Yes. That was what I wrote. Even at that, they cheated you and you came back here. And you are proud to come out with this Bajon, Bajon, Bajon leaves. What is this? This thing in the market is 50 naira now. One fresh one, not this dry one. 50 naira. And I needed larger quantity because I wanted to make big pots of soup that will last at least for one month or two weeks. You're telling lies. This one, yes, is for cost. For how much? It's a 700 naira. Yes. This thing is 50, 50 naira in the market now. What? And yeah. I needed one mudu. <laughs> at least one month. Hi. This one is. 200 and something now. Yes. I, wrote, I wrote one gallon there. You went to the market and you pose yourself, because I know you too well. Professor of mathematics. How can this refrapse in the market? Just a new professor. No. I'm going to show them that I'm an academic professor. I didn't buy my certificate. Please give this thing. No, 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 no. Don't buy me. Bring all of them out. Dad, wait. Mommy, mommy, wait. Daddy, we are still in the mood of cross checking now. Why don't you bring everything out? So cross Shut that gutter you call mouth. Do you know what cross checking means? Daddy, why are you shouting at me? Am I the one of the. Do you know the analysis? If I tell you to analyze and break it down, the metrics involved in cross checking. You don't even know cross not to talk about the checking. But why are you shouting at us? We are not the market women that do this. Then allow me go to the market women. So do what? So do what? My wife is okay. So do what now? Lady of Frost. Daddy, are you going out? Of course, I'm going out. Anything. The money for fuel. Did I tell you I don't have fuel in my, in my car? <laughs> no, it's not for your car. It's for our generator. For the generator. You want to fetch water too? No. It's our generator can. Really? Now buy two liters. <laughs> buy two liters of fuel. Daddy. You say it's generator. Daddy, you and I know that two liters will not go anywhere. Will the generator reject two liters because it is two liters? Listen, you think that money comes easy? It doesn't. You people use energy mercilessly. In fact, you use less energy. And that's why you are running into some of these problems. What are you doing with generator by this very time? Daddy. Yes. You are asking. Why won't I ask? Daddy will use light to see road at night now. You are not blind. You can see now. Nobody is blocking your way. Okay, we are using it to watch films. To watch films? No, so I'm so disappointed. At times when you open this your gob and gush out things, it shows how naive you are. With all the evidence of maturity on your face, you are still telling me like a kid you want to go and watch films at this time. Why do you always talk like this? Daddy, just look at this, our neighbor now. He's a common teacher, not even a secondary school teacher. Sorry. He's a primary school teacher. Mm -hmm. They will run their generator from 7 p.m. to dawn. You are a professor. Who can even run our generator for two hours? And you think it is good? You think they are enjoying it? No, I am. Uh, Listen, an average man, a sane man, will not use a generator more than one or two hours. Eh? Yes! You put your generator by 8 o'clock, 
Then probably after the nine o'clock news or whatever news, you switch off and that's all. The generator will rest and you will rest. That is how a mature man reasons, except you're pretending it just on your face. Wait, 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 that, that wait, wait. Are you expecting me to carry these 50 liters of uh, gallon and go and buy just two liters of fuel? I'm sure this is not leaking. Even one liter will enter here comfortably. As for the people you are trying to refer me to, do you know the consequences of that thing that comes out from the generators, the generator smoke? What? The fume that comes out from the generator is carbon monoxide, which is carcinogenic. You do not know. It causes cancer. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, this people are. He is a teacher also. So, so he don't know about this common monoxide. Common he will monoxide. not know until he dies. He sees himself in the mortuary. That's what I'm telling you. It will not happen in my house. Not collecting the money. Look, I'm giving you this money to return change, because you're going to NNPC. Huh? Oh yes. You go there and the queue, and then collect your food. Daddy, you're telling me to go to NNPC to buy yes, food. Yes, that's what I said. Don't you know it will take me a whole day to buy fuel from the NMPC? Then, stay a whole day. NMPC, they have their own light. They even have television. You can stay there and buy television. All I want is for you to buy the normal price. It is cheaper there. Okay, Daddy, let me now educate you on this. You can't buy uh, fuel from the NMPC with gallon. There are ways and means of doing these things. How? If you carry your gallon, and then you probably go and stand close to a car. Hey! You've been standing in line. They will give you fuel thinking that you own the car. It's as simple as that. Take, my change is uh, 40, about 42, 43 miles. Are you taking this or do I want me to pocket it? All right, you want me to pocket it? I'm not returning any change, yo. I'm not returning any balance to you. Oh, then we will know who is the father and who is the son. But you built the house for I in control of the I know my change. When I come, I demand for my change. You don't give it to me. Profo, professor. There is no money if you're silly, Profo, nyabukwa. There is no money if you're silly, kay. University. There is no money if you're silly, kay. Management. There is no... You see, all I'm trying to say is that I can do anything possible to satisfy you. Oh, please. I'm a little bit hot. Let me... Because I was saying is that I can do anything humanly possible to satisfy you. Like, I can even go and pay for a hotel room, if you wish. Anytime you're ready, just tell me. Go straight to the hotel and pay just for the both of us, sir. Miss Rose or Rose? Sir. I've heard you. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm so grateful. <laughs> May God bless you, sir. May God bless me. I wonder what God is going to bless me for. For the imagination of a lost young girl who thinks that he can lure me to bed in your hotel while my wife at home. Or God is going to bless me for the fact that this young lady has agreed to pay the rents or the hotel rooms and buy me drinks. What is God going to bless me for? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disrespect you. So you do not have to be sorry for me. Be sorry for yourself. Because you see, when some of you young girls want to flaunt yourself, you do not assess your partner. This man you're looking at is made of concrete, sexual, as by you. I am married up to my neck and my wife has gone for You are just a teaser. You are just an appetizer compared to my wife who is the main cause. I could swim in my wife and come out unscathed. Rather than take you to bed or make love to you, I prefer to make love to a heap of cash. So, if you understand this man, you will monetize all those things that you have been saying. You know, you are a very big girl, and any man who wants to do you will have to spend a lot of money. You know how much you think. Now, quantify all those things in monetary terms. Going to the hotel to book for hotel and buy me drinks, 
sum up all the amount. I'm going to this man and see whether you can make a help me. Okay, well, is that all? Like bringing the money together and giving it to you? Stop for me. Let's see what we can do. Okay, no problem, sir. Good day, Miss Rosa. Thank you, sir. doing here all alone. I was leaving looking for you inside. Have you finished washing? What is it? <laughs> what is the problem? And you're crying. Why are you crying? <laughs> Talk to me now. Stop crying. Talk to me. What is the problem? Thank you. What is it? What is it? That problem I told you. What problem? I still don't have the money to sort the lecturer. For the last time we talked about it, you told me that you are doing something to sort it out. Where will I get the money from? <sighs> That's why I'm here. I'm waiting for Papa to come so I can eh? just tell him. Nkiru, you're waiting for who? Papa? <laughs> hey. Because Papa will go to that school and cost more half work for you. Yes. Hi. Well, uh, what you should do? Have you spoken to Mama about this? But you know Mama does not have money now. So how will she help me? But you can help me now. Eh? Mama help you. You know how you get money. Nkiru. Where will I get money to help you? No problem. Let's just go inside first. Oh? You can't just wait for anybody here now, under the sun. Let's go inside. I will like fast the cold. It's okay now. Ah. Yes, we must exercise patience. And wait for the VC's uh, list. So we should hope on that one as you said. It won't be more than three weeks it will come out. Three weeks is not uh, such a long uh, distance. Let's just wait for three weeks. Okay, let's hope on that. I understand the impatience of uh, these uh, applicants. Anybody who wants admission is very, very normal with them. Uh, um, no, no. If you want to discuss anything further, please call me on your own phone. My credit is already gone. Okay, okay. No problem. This I hope all is well. Not well done. Yes. <clears throat> Any problem? Daddy need him go. For what? Cream. Cream? What do you mean by cream? Ice cream? Daddy, body cream. What I used to see. I bought the biggest size of petroleum jelly. Not more than one month ago. Daddy, how can I be rubbing petroleum jelly on my skin now? Why would you have rubbed petroleum jelly? I rubbed it on my skin, on my own skin. Your mother rubbed petroleum jelly on her own skin from the childhood. Daddy, I'm a girl. I am not supposed to rub petroleum jelly on my skin. Says who? That your skin and my skin are broke off, Fife. Let me tell you one thing. Your skin is just a fragment of my own skin and your mother's skin. And we grew up with petroleum jelly. Daddy, just give me money. Ah. Daddy, just give me money. I will just go outside and pluck money. You people think that making this money is easy. It is not. Imapumo, una amambum. I'm just doing this because it is you. Okay, come on, that's 200 naira. Mm. Okay, look. Are you still moping at me? 
You have to give me money now. You think I just go outside, I will go and plug money? Nkiruka, Nkiruka, you give me a lot of trouble. You forget, this is what is in my bag. Okay. You're supposed to smile. Daddy, the cheapest cream in the market right now is 1,500 Naira. 1,500 Naira? Is that the one you use? No wonder! Hey, gentlemen! No, 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 come and sit down. Your mother must hear this. 1,005. How many gallons of oil? 1,005 will get you. You cannot kill me. You people cannot succeed in killing me. Yes, yes, why are you here? Sir, it's like you don't even recognize me again. Sir. I don't recognize you, so who are you? And I don't like students badging to my office. Sir, I'm your niece's son. Sibi Odogu. Oh, my Phoebe. Yes, sir. So you're Jirobi's son? Yes, sir. And you have not told me that you're this thing. Sir, you know students with you. I said I don't want to bug you with my problem, sir. Oh, no, no, no. Your mother was trained by my family, my own family. She said so, sir. So it's not as if I'm strange to you. Look, come to me whenever you have a problem in this institution. But I must learn. I must learn. If I hear you or see you entering into the wrong places, I will take offense. I hope you're not in the corner. Not for me, sir. Good. And you're not one of those useless boys that throw parties left, right, and center. No, sir. Because it's not in our lineage. We don't have any rascal in our life. In our blood. Thank you, sir. Whenever you have any problem, just tell me. Oh? Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir, I'm so happy for your last comment, sir. I never wanted to disclose it with you, sir. But since you said it, sir, I, let me just fill you with my little problem, sir. I wanted to travel back to the village first thing in the morning, sir. As I speak with you, sir, I've not had anything to eat. And tomorrow morning, traveling back to the village will cost me money for transport. I don't even have it. And now, now, now sir, I don't... Yes, you say you don't have money. Yes, sir. You know what food is it? Is that yours? Of course, sir. It's mine. You know it's expensive. Sell it and make money. Sir? Sell that phone and make money. How can you be carrying this kind of expensive food? And this neighbor not Phoebe. Phoebe is never known to be extravagant. Hey, you get your Sell this phone and make the money to do I'm sure it is the meter amount that they gave you. But you used to go and be useless. If I, you know, not a chain, sell it and make money. If you sell that chain, it will take you to transport to get the boss where you want. And look at the kind of watch that you have. I am a professor, am I not? You are, sir. And this is what I use. Nobody has pushed me for it. Sell this very food. Let me not see you begin to beg around for money. It's not in our lineage. We will be missing very good. Leave your head the way it is. Be smart. Bend down first and get the study. When you get your degrees, you can begin to do all those things. You know, I, I, sir, I, I never wanted to. But, but, Listen, but... what is your mother's number? Or rather, your father's number. Sir? Your number your father. Because the way I see you. Sir, the last time I said, my father, uncle, thank you, sir. Bibilego, na bank, community bank. No, so where is the water? Daddy, I'm coming. There is no money if you see the kid. Not for two wise sense to too much. Daddy, I'm the water. Daddy, the radiator is here. I know about cars that they can do.
is it? What can I? I was only happy to close the bonnet. If you want to close the bonnet, close the bonnet gently. Woman, the car. Didn't you just <laughs> see me warm it now? Ah, don't you think you should warm the car a little bit more? Why? I'm not complaining, and I'm not sure the car complained to you, did it? Of course, you and I know that cars don't talk, so needless. Mind your business. Leave me and my car. It is not yours, it's mine. Daddy, don't you know that cockroaches and brats will be living inside this engine? Because of the long packing. Now, so it's either you're blind or that you have your brains between your thighs. That is the only reason why you will not notice that every other hour your father cleans his car when he's around. I clean this car up to the point of fumigating. You clean this car, yes. Good. You fumigate it, yes. Good. But how many times have we used this car since this month? Brother, you will trek to school. And know that it's hot sun, it's not good for your health. Oh, you're having pity on the father, isn't it? Don't worry yourself. Trekking makes me look fit. Huh. That is why I am what I am, how I am today. Not on the hot sun, Daddy. I have my bowler hat and it covers me. Don't you think an umbrella would be better? The limit of the career, that's worse. I am jogging, I am keeping fit, Nonzo. Why won't you open your mind to reason? You don't have pity on me, okay? Okay? Daddy, excuse me. You need to judge this. Before people start thinking that we don't even take care of yourself. No, so it's like you're going somewhere because you're looking so suspicious. How? All these things. Each time you are rubbing it in. Oh, don't exercise. Daddy, stop exercising. Daddy, stop doing this. It's for your health. Probably you want my health to fail. God forbid. And I'll be hospitalized so that you will have the opportunity to mess up my car and then golf yourself. You know, it's fine when daddy's not around. Daddy. It's not going to happen. Hey, God forbid. Daddy, why would you say a thing like that now? I'm going to school, I'm not. Daddy. Daddy, yes. what are you still doing there? I thought you just cleaned the car. If you're rational enough, you will know that dust flies every second. In fact, all the air. So when you clean it now, it will still be dust. I'm out of school. No, so what are you still standing there doing? Nothing, sir. Please move off. Um, am I sure I'm with the key? Yes, please move off, move off this car. No, so go out of the car. You don't clean it for me. God will bless this your in law for me. Amen. A royal drink. Beautiful. Oh. Let me go with this perfume now. Yeah. Why? I know you're not going to use it. Let me use it. Hey, Joma, I saw the size of the bag that they give you. You hold it in. Why do women think that any good thing should not come to men? It doesn't really matter. I know you're not going to use it. The drink is for men. At least go with the drink and the shoes. Hmm? Let me go with this one. Let me add it up. Don't go with it. The person looked at me and bought mine for me. Uh, would you give me a part of your own? Let me see the price now. Ah, 200 pounds. It's a lot. I'm telling you. Why would a man spend 200 pounds to buy something that will be sprayed on him? How much is the body that this thing is going to go up? I know you're not going to use this thing. Give me the perfume. That does not mean I will not use it. I'm only saying it is extravagant. Mm. Spending such money. One hundred and sixty pounds. Do you know how they change money now? What's what's the, the exchange rate now? I don't know. Good pounds and dollars. I know they are going up. I I I. Well, nobody bought anything for me now. There's no gift for me. 
I saw your own bag upstairs. Daddy. Are you asking me? Did I buy myself gifts? Go to the person that bought gifts for I and your mother and ask the person to buy yours. Please, let, let me have this shoe. Please, and this perfume. Please, Daddy. I know you will use it. Please, what? They bought gifts for me and you're telling me, please. Maybe the person sees you as somebody who's worthless. You have to be to take yeah. about yeah. Yes, and that's why they didn't buy for you. I just need to go to church. Do you go yeah. to church? Leave the shoe for me. Give this! Keep it! Please. Yes. If I don't have good shoes again, now, let me take this shoe now. This. Let me manage this shoe and the, the perfume. Please. You know they didn't buy anything for me, Daddy. Please. I get disappointed with you by the day. Because you do not behave like a mature person. You behave like a kid. I should give you a gift that was given to me by another. No, sir. No, sir. Do you know at this age, do you at times go and bring out your baptismal certificate? Yeah. And know how old you are? Or do you stand in the mirror at times and look at your mature size? And you're behaving like somebody so naive. You're asking for gift. Please give me at this age. Yeah, no. You are not going to use all these things. You are going you to are use not going them. to use them. Oh, yes, because yes, I'm not give that now. Yes, because I will not wear shoes because I'm Yes, yeah, fanatical of uh, 160 pounds. Just a pair of feet. How much you have converted for you? Okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I haven't finished. Mm -hmm. There is still another uh, 520 pounds. Yeah. Total of expense. Oh, no, no. How much? How much? Help me convert the victim. How much do you think? What? Good news. Okay. You know, just tell me what. The actual prizes will be because you will be the person to dispose of it for me. And <laughs> this is the amount I'm going to demand from you. you know that. Right. Okay, I'll get back to you. Hmm? Get what I want from Professor Dogu. I must. Ha! Cannot keep delaying again. No? I so much. I will use everything and get what I want. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you will listen to me, you see this your body. This your curves. Eh? Just package everything and keep to yourself. Like, respect yourself. Package this your body and keep to yourself. <laughs> Why? Because the Professor Dogu I know. She like go completely naked before him. He will not even be aroused. As in, his body will not even shake. So dear, please respect yourself. Why are you talking like this now, Professor Dogu? Doesn't he have something in between his two legs? Ah uh ah. -uh. After all this, forget. Yeah, I'm telling you out of experience, so all that man needs is money. Like money is the only language he understands. Nothing but money. Ah, <sighs> babes, forget that thing. I'm still not yet convinced. If I go, fuck, ah, you know me now. Maybe you all that went there, you, you girls did not package yourselves very well. What did you show him? This, is it not this breast I'm looking at? What is there, Juan? Forget. That man, eh, uh, you know, Professor Dogu, that man, he has castle, he has test. Wait, see. You see, the last time I went to that man's office, 
what didn't I display to him? Like, ah, babes, you know now, my calves, my boobs, everything. But you know, this man so humiliated me. I regret ever going to meet that man in his office. Because, ah, I was so ashamed of myself, babes. Very, very ashamed of myself. So please, please, oh, I would like my friend to undergo the same thing I went through in that man's office. Uh, you, you showed him everything? Yes, you? now. Mm -hmm. Ah! Do you know eh? Ah, hey! I've been hearing this news though, that that man likes money. Money, money, but I never believed. Like they say, in every rumor, there must be an atom of truth. His second name is Judas. Judas is Caviot. See, could you believe that he even told me to, I don't even know, to convert everything into money, like convert my body into money and bring to him. That means now I have to change my strategy. I'll go with money too. Better for you and you better do that fast, like very, very fast. Eh? But in the other side, no, 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 no go area. Yes, Good day, sir. Good day, what can I do for you? My name is Linda Okeke, and I'm one of your students. I see. You sit down. Thank you. So, what can I do for you? Sir, please, I, I have a problem with math 311. Yeah, you're not the only one. A lot of students have problems with me. So why is everyone so good to me? What we do is not what we do. You see, this is why we uh, tell you people to read your books. Mm -hmm. So to read your books. Sir, please. I don't know if you can help me solve the course. I'm not coming to my first place. Read your books, you will not be guided out there. How much is that? It's 15,000 euros. 15,000 euros. I think that'd be yours. If you have nothing. Each time you tell you to read your books, nobody's doing it for you to, to feel bad. I'm trying to help you. Thank you, sir. You have uh, your ID card, or rather, write down your registration number or something. Next time, instead of coming to sort it out, read it out. Okay? You see, you know why I'm giving you all these considerations? Because I like your approach. Some of you can still trust in common forms, their body, and all that. Every night, you're going to call it. You're not the way you need to do it. And you've come for it. I like that. Thank you very much. By the way, uh, Linda, I like your My thank you, sir. What is it called? I Peruvian coin, sir. What? Peruvian coin. Peruvian coins. I think it will be very fine in my wife's head. Would you mind buying some? No, sir, no problem. I, I can get it for her. As a present and gift, I want to surprise her with. I will get a very nice one, better than this one. So, how much is it? It's 150, sir. Oh, 150? That's a good one. I will do it for one surprise this one. Alright. Buy three. Huh? Sir? You said 150. 150, 150, 150. It's 450. This is a 50 different change. Hey, no, sir. No. It's 150,000, sir. It's not 150. 150,000, Yes, sir. Was it a present or did you buy it yourself? No. Ha! Ah, I bought it myself. Mm. It's all right, you can go. I think on a later date, I will say, call me and give you the. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.
registration number. I've used red. Then now can repeat. Ah, babes. Thanks for the information. You really saved me. Yeah, you're welcome, my dear. So tell me, how was it? How did it go? It was a success, so. But according to him, he said, as when I came there with just my body, I would have paid double. Double! Hey, hey, that man of money. At least now you believe hey. in saying that. Seeing is believing. Hmm? When I was telling you, that man, that professor Dogo, that man of money. Ah, the man so like money. That man. The man too like money. Anyways, thank God it was all a success. Hmm. Surprise me. Eh? Thank you very much. Mm. You know, our people say information well utilized is power. Mm. You saved me, oh! Yes. Hey, hey, God. Mm. Another carryover. I mean, I went there with all these breasts. All these breasts, eh? Another carryover. When are they tell you, they doubt me. Now nah, you don't go there, you don't see yourself, you don't believe. Oh. Eh? Professor, don't go and go. Yeah, uh, Ijoma, how many kilometers to the the reception hall? Yeah, Professor, okay. when has Ijoma become a map reader? We're not quarreling, Ijoma, I just ask a simple question. Please don't ask me that question again. Just to know the amount I will uh, I will bring for, for food, that's all. The petrol will still be in your car. Why do people like wastages? But you a car. No matter the amount you feel, in fact, multiply any quantity which costs 90, it will give you zero. Hey, mm. mathematician. Yes, that's what I am and that's why I'm telling you people to buy it. Uh, come to think of it, where is the gift or envelope that you give to the people that invited you? Are you going there empty-handed? Maybe they are in the booth. Are they, are they, are they in the booth? Envelope, the gift. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going for a wedding. Is it launching? Why were you invited in the first place? I was invited to come and make merry, eat, drink, and uh, this is their happy day. I don't know your own interpretation. Are you forgotten that one day I and Kiru will get married one day? Of course. <laughs> Tell him. And any legacy he leaves today is what they will pay us back with. Have mm -hmm. I laid any, any wrong legacy? If you don't give them, they will not give us. I'm not expecting gift from anybody. Uh, do you want us to wear the second time? Remember that man bought you so many things. Oh. So you're not going to give them even one penny. Is it bribe? Listen, it is out of one's volition. Out of your free will. If you want to give gift, that's all right. That is the car open. Let me enter. Let me open the gift. Perfect, professor. University Management Profit too wise, sense too much Academic, economic Grammar too big, handy too tight Professor Dogo Pule is no money face Oh, what is wonderful gift. Wonderful. Mm, mm. Yeah, where's the gifts? Where are those gifts? That is there. Hey. Hey. Ah. Daddy, did you see the way money is where gifts prayed at that wedding? Money of different denominations, pounds, dollars, everything. Do you know I was surprised? In fact, at this stage, I was doubting whether those things that they were flying they are actually dollars. Hmm. Or did they just fake? Did they, they were, it was all, it was so much. So you want to tell me you are, you are blind when those dollars were being spent? Do you know the exchange rate of a dollar? Yeah. That people should be wasting it like that? But daddy, why didn't you spray Auntie Jane when she was dancing? It looked somehow... Daddy, what happened? <laughs> it wouldn't have made any difference. You see all these big boys, on stage, I will have to go and compete with them. No. See, the way they were throwing dollar all currencies, so nobody would have even noticed me. It would have been like a, a pouring a cup of water into the river. You see, Guru Sir. Let me give you a fatherly advice. You see that man that wore that gym today? That is the kind of young man that you should bring. Huh? Oh, yes. 
You see, the guy is a bourgeois and it comes out. You see, this slap up party, everybody was eating, gorging, and all that. He has the money. Hey, Daddy, me, I agree with you 110%. Mm. And that is the reason you should spend more money on me so I can look rubbish <laughs> and invite the money. Let me tell you, kid, if I give you more money than I'm giving you now, mm. you will turn into a doll baby. Uh -uh. Me. Why are you giving all the pocket money and all these things I've been giving to you? How much money are you giving me? <laughs> Daddy. Oh, Bobby. Hey. Bobby, I'm hungry. You, you are a stupid boy. We're just coming up from a very big party that everybody was eating, enjoying, and gorging him or herself. And we have just entered. And you already say your hunger is stupid. It's true, I ate there, but I'm still hungry. You cannot be hungry because I saw you when you were eating. You, do, you, do you want me to tell you how many plates you have taken? I took here? Wait, Even the meat, I saw this young man with a plate of meat alone. So wait, Daddy. Because we ate at the wedding, we shouldn't eat again at home. Daddy, have you forgotten? I, I don't, I'm not supposed to embarrass anybody. The way they were carrying the food around, I can't just start calling CSS. And besides, the meat was very small. The meat was very small. Advise your son. Meat is not good for a man. Eh? Particularly a growing man like you. It kills the manhood of a man. Eh, please, prof. Stop teaching him that. He's too young for such lesson, please. Hey, John, what is wrong with you? I'm telling this young man the route to his, 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 his uh, health, what will improve his health. Do you know what the, the content of, of this piece of meat that you people got like that? Mm. That is the shortest way to angina pectoris. Yeah. Angina pectoris, that is the easiest way you can get your heart attack. By the cholesterol content of the meat, it goes into your system, it percolates there. When you grow old, it will knock you. That is not true. Because mommy used to tell me that meat is good for me. That is the best thing, my dear. I am telling you, it is not good for you because of the cholesterol. Yes. Hey, give that, but take a